uh, I started writing poetry around the time I started this play. So the poetry is actually a fairly um, recent thing for me in the last five or six years. Um, so they're very connected for me. Also because the play has a kind of you know um, verse in the actual laying out on the page and, and the construction of it. A lot of that is just for me. I don't think the audience is going to um, sit there consciously thinking about its poetic qualities. I, I could be wrong, but there's, uh, you know, it, it was helpful to me. Paul's story was so overwhelming to me at first, and there was something about the ten-syllable line that helped me focus. It's that simple. It, it helped me economize. It helped, it helped me do what poetry and drama, all writing and probably art, but certainly all writing does well, which is to be economical, compressed, concise. Um, and uh, so, you know, in some ways it was a working method more than, you know, some result for the audience that I was hoping for. I did find that it made, I think, my language better. You know, it made the writing more uh, evocative and... Uh, um, so I, yeah, I see a lot of simil similarity between the poetry. I, I think even the structure of the play the, the, uh, is so organic, for lack of a better word, um, and in some ways follows um, the logic of a poem more than a play. You know, a, a sort of well-made uh, mainstream play these days is fairly uh, naturalistic and realistic, and it doesn't deal so much with consciousness and memory and this play can slip in and out of time and place and, and, and memory in a way that at least I uh, connect to what poetry does uh, more so than what uh, drama often does.